Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, in today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, also Ethereum and we're gonna have a look where the CMEs and the DXY stopped trading yesterday on Friday. So we are entering the weekend, we are entering playtime and Bitcoin is still trading sideways in this potential falling wedge here in the 4 hour time frame. So I am not in a trade currently, I'm still waiting on the sideline because before we are not seeing a breakout here to the upside or here to the downside, you shouldn't be in a trade right now because Bitcoin is still deciding here if we should continue our move towards 60k or not. I'm pretty confident that we will see here follow through to the upside because we closed very bullish on Fridays, uh, the CMEs. But uh, yeah, we have to wait for confirmation. We have to wait here still for a breakout. The four hour time frame is still looking good. We are closing four hour candles above the 20 moving average, which of course is very bullish. But uh, if we're gonna have a four hour close below $45,850, I'm pretty confident that we could see here possible correction again down towards $44,000, maybe even go a bit lower. But this 44,000 should hold as a support for now. And the bullish scenario here, if we're gonna see a breakout and a close, a four hour close above $48,000, this should indicate that here we're gonna see follow through and we could reach the target between 50 to $60,000 pretty soon, potentially with this next big move to the upside. So all indicators right now are quite flat because we are trading sideways and we are just about to see the next big move uh, pretty soon and in my opinion, to the upside but of course there are also some warning signs for example here in the daily time frame where we are looking a bit exhausted and a pullback down to the nine daily moving average at 44,000 in my opinion is still in the card so even if we see here a breakout to the downside we potentially gonna bounce here at this important moving average and if we're gonna start to close again daily candles below 44,000 then watch out here for the 20 daily moving average at $38,500 this also acted previously as a resistance and now it should be acting as a support and since we are quite overbought in the RSI and also in my own indicator we could get a sell signal pretty soon I'm pretty convinced that we could come down here to test $44,000 but overall we should recover pretty soon again here to the upside and see $50,000 to $60,000 potentially next week or at least during February because Bitcoin is still looking very bullish and since we broke out from this big falling wedge that we were in here in January, I'm pretty confident that we will reach the 60k target within February latest in March. So let's see what will happen during the weekend. I think if we're gonna see a bigger move then maybe to the upside, even though keep in mind we could also come down here to first test the $44,000 area before we gear up for the next move because the daily time frame in my opinion is looking like that it's screaming here a bit to test these two important moving averages here at $44,000 and $38,500 and then of course continue our bull trend. And we can also have a look here into the weekly time frame because the weekly is still looking like that we will close this weekly candle above the previous highs that we had here at around $38,800. So if we're gonna close in this area here, also here in the spot market, then I think we will see continuation to the upside in the next coming weeks for sure. And we are not looking like that we're gonna top out any time soon. You know my bullish targets, but also keep in mind that we could see still a correction down towards $30,000 or $38,000 because we are also way above the stock to flow model price level that right now is predicting Bitcoin to be at around $30,000. So we are a bit too high in my opinion right now, but that doesn't mean that we have to correct right now. We can also start to consolidate here or also push higher. And now we can switch over into the CME chart because we had a very bullish close here yesterday. We closed at $48,000. So wherever the price is going during the weekend, most likely we're gonna restart on Monday at these price levels here. Otherwise, we're gonna have a new CME gap. So that's why I think uh, we're gonna see follow through all the next week here to the upside because the CME is closed very bullish here. 
and uh, yeah we had uh, a new all-time high here in the weekly closes the so last time we closed here at uh, 39,400 that was the last most bullish weekly close and right now we are having another higher high here in the weekly close so very very bullish the CME chart and uh, we can go over now into the DXY quickly as well because the DXY is not trading today but yesterday you can see that uh, we had this bounce as expected from the 200 moving average in the four hour but we immediately came back down so we are still again fighting here with the 20 and 200 moving average in the four hour I think next week we're most likely going to see here continuation to the downside the DXY is still looking very bearish even though here of course in the 200 moving average in the four hour we could still see another bounce to the upside but I'm pretty convinced that here we're going to see follow through to the downside especially if bitcoin uh, continues to pump and even if you go over into the daily time frame you can see that yesterday we got rejected here at the 20 daily moving average we didn't close above this important moving average so that's why uh, we most likely gonna continue to fall lower here after we got also here a sell signals uh, uh, when we topped out here close to the 100 daily moving average so the dxy is still looking bearish and i'm expecting here to continue to fall lower potentially towards 89 dollars in the next coming days and weeks and uh, now we can also go over to the ethereum chart because here we are potentially creating this rising wedge or at least we are kind of breaking out to the downside from this channel that we had here in the last couple of days we got the sell signal here in my own indicator so maybe ethereum is about to come down to retest the 200 moving average here in the four hour at around 1400 to 1500 dollar this acted previously as a very strong resistance and now it should be acting as a support so even though ethereum could fall again towards 1005 to 1400 dollar i'm expecting here a big bounce to the upside so if we're going to see here a short lift correction also in the Bitcoin price maybe we're only gonna see that during this weekend or at least short term but long term we should recover pretty fast here and go again towards new all-time highs and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that we're still trading above the nine daily moving average so even if we would fall below this moving average here at the 20 daily at 1560 so at around 1500 dollar we should have enough support and then have a successful bounce above this uh, price level again. So let's see what will happen here in the Ethereum chart. Right now it looks like that we potentially could fall here towards this price level, but overall also here in Ethereum I'm pretty bullish and I'm expecting continuation to the upside. Also the weekly is still looking very, very bullish and we should see here follow through to the upside. So I want to hold this video very short my friends because I have to do some Valentine's Day preparations and if something crazy is going on today or tomorrow I'm gonna do a second update video. Just keep a very close eye on the Bitcoin price what will happen here in the next coming hours. If we're gonna see here a four hour close above $48,000 we are good to go to the upside and if you want to trade this over on Bybit or Femex make sure to use my referral links down below here in the video description to open up an account so you will get some extra money some extra bonus so you can do some free trades and also of course if you want to short it in case that we're gonna close a four hour candle below $46,000 then to take this short down to this potential target of around 44,000 I don't recommend to short Bitcoin but if you're scalping then of course this also could be a nice trading opportunity but we still have to wait for a four hour close above or below these important price levels and since we are in a falling wedge this is usually a bullish pattern and we should expect your breakout to the upside. So if you like the content my friends please hit that like button also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and shout out to our great discord trading chat if you want to join our free discord trading chat make sure to use the official link that you find only in the video description down below here also to my other channels you find all the official links down below here and if you are new in the crypto space make sure to open up an account on swissborg binance and coinbase with my referral links you will get some extra money if you sign up there and and do your first purchase and for everyone that is joining our free discord trading chat keep in mind that first you have to go here to the read first channel then click here on thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot and like this you have access to our great crypto trading chat and here is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is showing you buy and sell signals 
for Bitcoin for a small donation. You can get it. You just have to contact me here with a private message on Discord. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.